We can bounce back however you want. Doesn't okay. matter. Um, we'll call this 10. Call 10. Uh, or um, 10, 9, 8. It doesn't matter. I think one's going to be. So basically, this is. This will be the second item. This one. Be the first item. Oh, interesting. Okay. Question of one. Two and a warning. It was an R. On the yeah, it, yeah, it's just a display only. No. Can I have the sheet on the bill? Yes, you may. Please. Thank you. So that's, that's, that's about this high, right? Yeah, it's like that's about this high. Set on it. 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 Set on
We're going to start at $10. I've got 10. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 80, 5, 90, 95, 100. Oh, they're coming in and out. 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160. He's out. 170, 180, 190, $200. 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260. 260 once, 260 twice, 8354. Well done. Okay, I, uh, I at one time thought, hey, I should pick up some Game World minis, and I thought they wouldn't be too bad, and then I looked online and I realized I was wrong because these are amazingly expensive. Not an original shrink box, but just buying them regular. These are all the 20 figures. They're you know, the androids, the hissers, the tribesmen. This is a beautiful box, mint, highly desired figures, starting off at $50. $50 for the set, there should be a whole bunch of people in at that. Sixty. What's that? 175. 175. Is there any? Okay, 200, 225, 250, 270, 280, 290, 300, 320, 320. Any other interest at 320? 8369 for 320. And that's actually a good price. True first edition of the Dungeons and Dragons basic box set, what we always call the Holmes edition, because it was written by Mr. Holmes. As Bill will show you, the dice are loose in the box. They're out of the bag, but they appear to be completely unused. The rule book has some highlighting. Medium highlighting, a little bit of rust on the rule book. The box is fine, the contents are fine. F-115Rs do not come along that often, because the people who got them played the hell out of them. We'll begin at $50. Do I have $50? I have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, 225, 250, 275, $300, 350, 350 once. There is a proxy. You are now bidding against a proxy. 375, 400. He's down at 400. The proxy is winning at $400. Any other bids? Sold to the proxy for $400. Okay, uh, you want to tip that up slightly? Yeah, carefully? Okay, this is the Titan. The board has been cardboard backed. Battle lines has been opened. One board has staining. Counters are in plastic boxes. The box is in very good shape with some with some small tears and top cover gouge, but the contents are excellent. I have a proxy. Bill is going to act as the proxy. When he drops out, the proxy is out. We're gonna start at a grand total of a dollar, but I'm going to immediately move to 50. Who do I have in at $50? That looks about right. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170. 170 dollars, the proxy is still in. Is there anyone else at 170 dollars? Oh, 180, 190, 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250. 250 dollars, proxy's out. Bill, you get it for 8351, congratulations. Hold on to your hats. The unbelievably sparkly unicorn of Grenadier Miniatures. We've only ever seen one at the Gen Con auction prior to tonight. Sculpted by Andrew Chernak, the founder of Grenadier in 1980, this is considered the holy grail of Grenadier miniature collectors. The only, uh, there is a third set that I know of in collectors' hands that was purchased by Alan Grohe about two months ago. That makes three out of a possible 100 that were given out 
to Grenadier employees. This was made by Grenadier, Grenadier's gold AD&D box line was actually sold and in Disneyland and Disney World in the, in the castle, in the castle gift shops. Disney bought directly from Grenadier. Grenadier thought it would be a great idea to try to move into Disney with these miniatures. Disney rejected the deal because of concerns with lead poisoning in kids. The deal scrapped, <coughs> believed to be only a hundred creative, most were given to employees of Grenadier, complete with minis, paints, and the brush. This is unused, it is complete. The cover has some minor staining, but the contents are perfect. We'll start at $100. I have $100, one twenty five, one fifty, dollars $250, $275, $300. $325, $350, hold it up higher please. $375, $400. $425, $450, $500. $500 once. $500 twice. Let's give a hand. $500. I have the Catan 3D Collector's Edition. This was the original box it came in. Never opened. Never, never opened. Played. Still in the original. Uh, and I know this because how nice is this set? I gave a copy of one of these to my sister for her wedding present. <laughs> I, I, she, she loved Catan. I, I, it wasn't just, you know, like, but, uh, but yeah, so this was an actual wedding present. I, I got, th this was my wedding present to her. So how nice is it? That nice that you give it to somebody as a wedding gift. Your own sister, no less. We're gonna, <laughs> Yeah, well, that's true. Yeah, that's a, yeah. That's, um, I am going to start this off at five hundred dollars, which is a steal, and work up from there. So, how many people are at five hundred dollars for this super nice three D Catan in the original box unopened? Five hundred dollars. I only hit okay. Five hundred, five fifty, six hundred, six fifty, seven hundred, seven fifty, eight hundred, eight fifty. 850. Is there any other interest other than one person at 850? 3121 for 850. It is a night of sparkly unicorns, often spoken of, never seen. In the 1970s, late 70s, early 80s, the fantasy series that had everybody in rapture, much like Game of Thrones, was The Chronicles of Thomas Covenant by Stephen R. Donaldson. The original trilogy was followed by a second trilogy years later. I cannot tell you how big that fantasy series was. It is so similar to what we went through with Game of Thrones over the last few years. The Land is the, bo is the board game set in the world of The Chronicles of Thomas Covenant. It is a war game. There are uncut paper counters, mint content. The box is very good. Very, very rare. Has anybody ever seen another one? No. no, no. Right. There you go. We are going to start the bidding at $100. $100. My guess is... It's the only one that, I, that I've ever seen. It's the only one we know to exist. And after tonight, who knows, you might see another one pop. Hundred dollars we begin. One hundred, one ten, one twenty, two fifty, two seventy-five, four hundred dollars, four twenty-five, four fifty, four seventy-five, five hundred dollars, five fifty, six hundred, six hundred once. 600 twice, 83.42 for 600 dollars. My wonderful kind item tonight is the Dinonychus. Dinonychus 
Velocirap, which is also the Velociraptor fossil 14 millimeter dice set. Made from, we're not sure whether it's from the bone or the teeth, but yeah, hey, fossils of a Velociraptor discovered in Cedar Mountain Formation, Utah, one of a kind dice. We have a proxy. Bill's acting as the proxy. Yeah. Uh, Bill is acting as the proxy, and we'll drop out when the proxy's out. Otherwise, start me at a hundred dollars. Yeah, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thousand, eleven hundred, twelve hundred, thirteen hundred. Fourteen hundred, fifteen hundred, fifteen hundred dollars. Any other interest at fifteen hundred dollars? Here we are. Sixteen hundred. He was just resting his arm. Seventeen hundred, eighteen hundred, nineteen hundred, two thousand dollars. Twenty-one, twenty-one hundred dollars. Eighty-three sixty. Oh, you got it. Yeah, yeah. Eighty-three sixty-nine. Twenty-one hundred. Okie doke, this is it, this is the last item. The Jim Con Collector's Auction is an attempt by us to try to have a curated best of, best of, of everything that comes in out of the 14,000 plus items. We pick items out of the regular role play section. Some things are marked as collectible that eh, we put in relevant sections when necessary. But really this is it. This is what the hobby of collecting role playing games and collectibles is about. Um, we talked about this a long time before we decided to actually make this number one. It's been the discussion, we've had an ongoing discussion for the last three days when this first came in. Um, there's things that are rare, and we have had some great, unbelievable, one-of-a-kind items tonight. But then you have something that may seem mundane at the time that it is made, but as we go forward, it isn't. It becomes something special. Um, I don't know who Bruce Atwell was, or is. or is, or where he is, but in 1976, Bruce called the Dungeon Hobby Shop, Ernie took an order, and Ernie filled an order, and Ernie filled out this wonderful little shipping tag. Bill, come over here. We figured out, it's dragon number one, this is what he ordered. Dragon number one, dragon number three, strategic review number one, strategic review number four, strategic review number six. Then, because he had to, he put a little games in parentheses and listed... LK, uh, God's Enemy, God's and Heroes, Swords and Spells. And a small hex pad. This is all in Ernie's handwriting. Um, it has his signature. It has a stamped date. We know exactly when he delivered it to the mailbox at the post, or the post office in Lake Geneva, where for the last five years I've had to mail stuff home that I've gotten to Gary Gun. Ernie's not well. Ernie's doing okay, but Ernie's not well. We've already lost Gary. As this, as time marches on, we lose people we care about. I lost my dad last year. He bought my home spot set for me. So here we go. This is not the most valuable thing that we have had on this table tonight. In fact, I'll just run through the Judges Guild that's in the box. Three Judges Guild issues from their subscription, October 76, December and January of 77, February and March of 77. Oh, you got it here. I'm sorry. Judge Skill Journal 0 through 13, Dungeoneer 11. The City State Playing Aid, Teagle Manor, second printing. The booklet for K. The first fantasy campaign map for a judge. The first fantasy campaign map for players. The Modron Play Aid, no envelope. The Barbarian Atlantis maps for judge and player. And the campaign map, 1114, for judge and player. On average, they're all very, very fine. Um, this is a project waiting to happen. I would hope that whoever gets this decides to actually fill this box with the original contents that Ernie listed on it. That would be cool. You want your conversation starter, there you go. 
So we're going to start for $100. A one-of-a-kind piece of ephemera from the Dungeon Hobby Shop from 1976, signed by Ernie Gygax. I have 200, 225, 230, 240, 250, 275, $300. 325, 350, 375, $400. 450, 500. 550, 600. 650, $700. 750, 800. 800 once, 800 twice. Sold to Bill Meinhardt Collector. <laughs> So that's it. We're done before midnight. Holy smokes. <laughs> Folks, thanks for the ride. Thanks for playing along. You guys have just been wonderful. And I hope I will see you all tomorrow for the charity auction. Have a